All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. And um, as you can see here, I have a game icon. So today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over step by step how to make your own game icon, starting in Blender with the render. And we are going to move on to Photoshop and um, finish it off. So, so uh, if you've been watching the Blender tutorials, all you basically got to do is you got to have your rig um, on the, the first part of the series. There is a download link for this rig in the description. So you just want to follow that tutorial series. Um, and uh, yeah, just have your pose be whatever you want. I just have a pet model here as well so I have this and you just want to go to render render image give it a second actually at the camera I have to move this there we go all right so you want to go to render render image and um, as you can see here it is just go to image save as and once you have the render make it a thousand by a thousand and the resolution is 100 so you want to hit create and uh yeah let's start this is how we're gonna do it first things first you want to take this lock icon and you just want to drag this to the trash can right there and now we are going to right click and go into blending options and we're going to change the color of this to anything you want so let's say blue now you want to go to Google and now you want to look up Sunrays PNG and um, for me the first result is always this one. There we go. Let's take this, hold Alt, scale it up. Right now you want to hit Control U, turn the lightness all the way up, hit OK. And we're just going to change this to overlay. It's as simple as that. And now you want to put your render all right so uh here it is all right so here i have a render i'm just gonna put this in scale it appropriately it's right here all right now i'm going to right click and go into blending options again and i'm just going to go into inner glow and you could copy my settings if you want here we go bevel um these are on these are on overlay and soften this all the way up just like that um i mean that's supposed to get out of shadow i guess it's a very light one maybe on overlay and now we're just gonna make the little shape in the corner for updates it's very simple take your pencil click hold shift click click down at an angle hold shift all right go back to your move tool hit a uh, control shift H it'll get rid of the outline control J to copy it control T right click flip vertical there we go take these two control E to merge them all right now you just want to go ahead and change the color of this so I'm gonna choose a red color and um make a new layer hold alt go right in between and just click down once you see this icon this is going to clip this layer into the shape so that means whatever you choose to do on this layer it will be inside the parameters of the red shape so i'm going to use my pencil uh, make sure it's on shape fill is on the color is black and stroke is off i'm just going to use my rulers if you don't have your rulers just hit ctrl r and you can also go up to view and turn on snap snap to guides layers and document bounds so let's click here hold shift click and we have this and um to get rid of this outline you just want to hit ctrl shift h on your keyboard and if we drag this back we're just going to turn this down and from here you can type out whatever text you want so 
SA we want to put new there we go double click and just go to drop shadow spread all the way down bit of size and turn this opacity down and um, that's basically it that's how you could create a very simple but very nice looking game icon from blender all the way to the effects in photoshop so if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like subscribe for more and uh, don't forget to use the code youtube on gfxcommon.com for 15 percent off of all of your orders and uh, i hope to see you again next time